Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So this video will cover the update that was released on July 9th, 2020. This update is not a major update. However, it certainly feels like one with the amount of content that it actually has. Okay. So first of all, I already did a video of my summoning on the three banners that are released with this update, so I'm not really going to go over that yet again. You know, If you want more details about how Unending Bond works with the CP tokens, I've already done a video on this, so I'm not going to cover this once again. Right? There's a separate video on this part. The three banners are, as expected, Angelina and Landius, right? Lanford and Knight of Mystery, and Sigma and Claret. So that part is done and over with. Okay. So other than that, there is with this new update, the Swimsuit Summer Festival event, right? It was announced with the major update, but they delayed starting this event until this week. So not too much to say about that. Um, I haven't done my videos of the battles yet, but if you jump into it, pretty much just like before, you're farming for points, okay? So you just do this event. Recommended heroes are listed here. Luna, Lana, Tiaris, Varna, Narm, Freya, Ferratia, Hein, Matthew, and Almeida. Okay. You just want to do ba pretty much, you basically do two battles every single day because the two battles gives you extra points. right? And you're going to want to use a full party of recommended heroes to get additional points that way as well. As long as you do the two battles with a full recommended party for this event, you will hit the maximum point count, if I recall correctly, of 90,000. Right? So that will... That just gets the event done and over with, just by doing two runs every day for the course of this event, right? because it is three weeks, right? the 9th to the 29th. So yeah, I mean, pretty straightforward event overall. So that's the point section. Do level 55 two times a day with all recommended heroes, and you will be done with this event. Nice thing about this event is you get Farrakia shards, more of them, if you need them. I really don't, but you do get more Farrakia shards. You know, as usual, there's Trinity vouchers, various mix of items, heart bond items, for example, all the SSR, so SSR armor, S um, SSR accessory weapon, and so on, I believe. Yeah, here's the headgears. Here's the accessory, and there's the weapon, okay? But most importantly, for this event, you actually get SSR training items, okay? There's also 68 skin vouchers mixed in too. So this is one of the better events for sure, because SSR training materials is probably one of the items that everyone needs, right? Everyone's been farming anarchies to level up their training grounds. So we see that there's seven SSR Anarchy workout machines there. There's another, I think, seven here. So that's 14 SSR items. Keep scrolling up. There's another seven. So in total, you're actually getting 21 SSR training ground materials of your choice, like which one you want, right? Which certainly helps. Um, in my case, I'm probably going to turn all of it into brown essential oils because that's the items I'm missing the most, right? You need to farm infantry and lancer for that, but I'm currently farming aquatic because I need the aquatic, uh, the flyer and aquatic epic breeding manuals. So with, so that means I'm only getting SSR, uh, the brown essential oils from the infantry training ground right now. So that would be an easy conversion for me for brown essential oils, and that would really, really help me in finishing up my flyer training ground, right? Which, as a side note, I'm probably going to do another upgrade right now. So that would give me some definite progress here, right? Because I need lots of brown essential oils. Brown essential oils for upgrading core survival. Um, brown essential oils for upgrading joint survival training. And then this final upgrade of joint attack training also needs brown essential oil. So, and then, then even this one, joint defense training needs brown essential oil, and so does the core defense. So every single upgrade in this flyer and training ground needs brown essential oils. Finally, yeah, so that's my focus. Right, finally, if I choose to upgrade the Grim Knights to level 10, and the main reason to upgrade them would be for Luna, that also needs brown essential oils. So I have a, 
I'm very, very short in supply on brown essential oils. So, and uh, yeah, that would, those 17 materials would help. I think it only gets me like two upgrades, like this one using seven and the next one using, I think, nine. But some SSR training materials is better than none at all. So that's my progress on the flyer and training ground. Flyer, sorry, on the flyer and aquatic training ground, smoothly getting upgraded bit by bit. And so that covers all the listed events here, right? Next then, oh, finally, I forgot to mention it about the swimsuit chapter, but there are limited edition stages that open, right? So these are the challenge battles. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, right? So I'll do videos of these, maybe. I doubt I'll do the level 30 and 40 videos right because they're just too easy but i'll likely do re i'll update the videos on level 60 65 battles right so just the the limited edition stages that are worth doing and yeah nothing else to say about the events so those are the events other than the events with this update is in the store of course with every single major update there are new gift packs so the gift packs this time around, there's a bunch, right? There's a skin voucher packs. Yeah, this is the usual skin voucher packs with 98 skin vouchers and some crystals, which I purchased before. There is, and I think that's the new addition for this week, right? The last week had the huge Trinity voucher gift box, which is standard. Uh, it had a class mastery gift box, which I believe is also standard for every month. And then an ultra value accessory pack, which is also standard right the first week or with every major update it seems to release these ones then the second week seems to always be skin voucher packs so not too much to say about those the other change though the final change is the skins there are three limited time skins currently on offer which is tiaris's beach babe skin right with the i guess rubber dolphin um or there is the Varnas skin, swimsuit skin, Shadow of Summer, and there is the Narm skin, Romantic Summer. Okay, surprisingly, Lana's skin is not up here right now, which is a bit of bit of a surprise. But I suspect they'll release it. Just probably maybe the following week. The most likely reason is because they don't want to have four new skins all available for purchase at once. At least that's what I think. But Lana's skin would be the Coastal Beauty skin. It looks like this. Okay. So it's worth mentioning, though, that there are alternative skins that are coming up. In the case of Lana, you can choose between this Coastal Summer skin or you can choose to pick up her Endless Love skin. Her wedding skin will be re-released -re in, I think, two months, if I recall properly. That's when a few more Bride skins are released. So this is, so, you know, if you want a skin for Lana, you have that choice between the Lana skin, uh, the Lana swimsuit skin, or the Lana wedding skin. Kind of up to you which one you want to get, I suppose. So then I should talk about the alternate skins for the other three heroes who currently have skins available. So Tiaris is Beach Babe skin, right? The alternate skins have already occurred, which was her, you know, Easter skin, the Violet Moon skin, which I already purchased, so I have no real interest in getting Tiaris's swimsuit skin as a result. You know, if you missed out on that skin, though, you might very well choose to get her beach skin right now. So this is, so her alternate skin is, I guess, the one that's occurring right now. I don't think Tiaris gets any upcoming skins at all. So if you're planning to pick up a skin for Tiaris, yeah, now's the time. Varna. So Varna's Beach Babe skin looks like this. The Sprite, in my opinion, everyone uses Varna in her Dragon Master class. So the Varna Dragon Master class Sprite is kind of generic, right? Because the dragon doesn't look any different whatsoever. With, I guess there's a few flowers on it, but she just looks very standard overall, in my opinion other than her wearing a swimsuit on this sprite, but I doubt you're going to be paying attention to her 
wearing the swimsuit on the sprite, frankly speaking. So this is Varna's current skin. And this is Varna's upcoming Valentine skin. So the Valentine's event is supposed to have two skins with it. One skin is Varna, one skin is Rachel's. So Varna's skin is, I guess, her wearing an apron, cooking or baking cookies. The sprite for the skin in the flyer class looks like this. So instead of riding a dragon, she's riding a horse, a pegasus. And this is her attack animation with that skin. So yeah, different looking for sure. I'm not going to say it's necessarily better looking than her current sprite, but it is different. So once again, for comparison purposes, this is her current sprite, right? I'm trying to see if I can get the attack animation. So the attack animation looks kind of like this. So yeah. All right, so moving on then. So we've talked about Lana, Tiaris, Marna, and the last character would be Narm. So Narm, her skin would look like, you know, another beach babe, long story short. She's usually used in her ranger class, so we'll place her in the ranger class like so, right? And yeah, the sprite is honestly pretty generic looking overall, although it is kind of unique with the hat and the bow with the flowers on them. Yeah. Of course, even I would say Narm's, her store skin, her regular store skin, is kind of nice looking as well. You know? um, I actually really like this skin in the Pegasus class because I think the Pegasus looks amazing, but nobody uses Narm in Pegasus form. So it's an unfortunate part of the skin that you know, the best looking sprite for this skin is not used at all. But nonetheless, I would say this skin also looks pretty darn good. So you don't necessarily have to pick up this Narm skin, right? There's also the, cho the basic store skin, which is actually quite nice. And finally, she also has an upcoming skin as well. And the upcoming skin for Narm is a maid skin. You know? So this skin, in my opinion, is awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't like maids? And the attack animation for Narm in her maid skin, uh, in her archer class as a maid is kind of like this. She's using the ketchup bottle to spray the enemy, which I think is probably the most unique attack animation. So I do actually plan on getting a skin for Narm, and it's going to be the maid class skin. So I'm personally going to be skipping the swimsuit skin. But that's me personally, you know. Everyone has their own personal preference. It's up to you which skin you want to pick. So that this is the last point that I want to cover in this video. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you find this information useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.